topping our news at noon, President Donald Trump is on the Gulf Coast today surveying the aftermath of Hurricane Irma and getting his first real look at the damage to the state. He landed just minutes ago with the vice president and first lady by his side. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is in Fort Myers now. She joins us live. Hello, Jess. Good afternoon, Jacqueline. Air Force One and Air Force Two have both landed here at Private Sky Aviation in Fort Myers, Florida. It is part of Southwest Florida International Airport. You can actually see um, Air Force One behind me right now. Now, President Trump, Vice President Mike Pence, and the First Lady all stepped off of the planes. They were briefed by the Coast Guard and FEMA, and just minutes ago, they got on helicopters and headed to Naples. It's all part of their day that they will spend that they will spend assessing damage and the response from Hurricane Irma. When President Trump and his team stepped off of their planes, they were greeted by Governor Rick Scott. The Trump administration and Governor Scott immediately meeting with the Coast Guard and FEMA in the airport hangar before making their way to Naples. The trip comes just hours after President Trump expanded his major disaster declaration for Florida to include individual assistance for counties including DeSoto and Hardy. Now Manatee, Sarasota and Charlotte counties were already included. The money will reimburse local communities and the state government that are aiding in response and recovery after the storm. Here in Fort Myers, community members have mixed feelings about the president's trip. I understand that his political advisors say he's got to show up here, but come on down here, pick up a shovel, a front end loader, load the junk, and help us out, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. This will be a quick trip for the Trump administration. They landed here around 1040 and they are expected to be back on their planes around 130 to head back to the White House. Reporting live in Fort Myers, Jess Aldrich, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.